hello powerpoint users and welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to see all the important concepts of youtube banner design and also we are going to design a sample youtube banner after watching this video you will be in a position to design your own perfect youtube banner so let's get started So let's start with understanding the basic concepts of creating the perfect YouTube banner. The light orange color area that you see on the screen has the dimension of 2120 by 1192 pixel. The same dimension is provided in centimeter and as well as inches. You can use it as per your PowerPoint units. This dimension is actually for large screens like televisions. That is when you see any YouTube channel through your televisions, the banner size that is visible will be of this dimension. Next yellow color rectangle that you see has the dimension of 2120 pixel by 350 pixel. Again, the same dimension is available in centimeters and inches. And this dimension is for desktops. Like when you see any YouTube channel through your desktop computers, this will be the banner size which is visible. The light blue color area that you see has the dimension of 1536 by 350 pixels. And this dimension is for tablets. The last and the very important dimension is of dark blue color rectangle shape and it has the dimension of 1280 by 350 pixels and obviously this will be the banner size when you see any YouTube channel through your mobile phones. I said this dimension is very important because this dimension is also known as safe area. Means this area will be visible across all the different devices ranging from TVs to the mobile phones. So when we are going to design the YouTube banner we need to make sure all our main content will fall within this safe area. Of course, we will design the banner with the highest dimension of that of television, but our content will be focused between this safe area. I hope you got the point. The download link for this particular slide is available in the video description. Feel free to download and use it. So with this information, let's get started with our banner design. Let me go to the second slide. And before I copy these three rectangle shapes, let me show the dimension of the slide which I am currently working on. Let's go to the design type and then go to custom slide size. The width and the height of this slide that you see here is matching with the dimension of TV banner size. So I have already set up this slide size as per the dimension of largest banner size and you can also just add the values in inches or centimeters and set up your slide before starting your banner design. Now let me copy these three reference rectangles and paste it into the slide number one. Now let's enable the guides and then create few vertical and horizontal guides and place them as per the different width and height of these reference rectangle shapes. Once done, select all the shapes and then delete them. Now these guides will act as a reference to design our banner. Next format the background with pattern fill. Select any pattern of your choice and change the background and foreground color with different shades of blue color. Next go to insert tab and then draw the rectangle shape between these two horizontal guides. Remove its outline and then format it with 4 step radial gradient by changing the direction through center. Next select the left gradient stop and increase its transparency to 100%. Adjust the position of second gradient stop and change its color to red. Now adjust the position of third gradient stop and change its fill color to light blue. Similarly adjust the position of fourth gradient stop and change its fill color to dark blue. Slightly play with all the stop positions to get the required effect. Next go to insert tab 
and then draw a rounded rectangle shape increase its roundness rotate it slightly and reduce its size similarly again go to insert tab and then draw a triangle and circle shapes now select all these three shapes make them no fill and change the outline color to white now create few duplicates of all these three shapes and place them at random position within the safe area of our banner design Next go to insert tab and then draw a top corner rounded rectangle shape make it completely rounded remove its outline and format it with two step linear gradient let's change both top colors with yellow and orange color change the gradient direction and increase the transparency of orange color gradient top to 100% Now reduce the size of this rectangle shape rotate it as per your requirement and place it over the safe design area as shown Let's create three more duplicates and place them at different positions Next go to insert tab and then draw a rectangle shape remove its outline change its fill color to red type in as subscribe and then format it by increasing the font size making it bold and increasing the space between each letters let's quickly add the youtube channel logo YouTube channel name and all other social media details to further beautify it add the outer shadow effect to each of these elements and adjust the transparency and blur values Once the final design is ready, let's go to file menu, then click on save as, browse for the folder location and then save this design as PNG image file. Next go to customization section under your YouTube studio and then click on branding and finally click on change to update your banner design. Select the banner we have designed just now and then click on open. You can clearly see our entire banner size will fit perfectly as per the TV, desktop and mobile devices. 
Our safe area design is something that is visible on all the devices. Let's click on done and that will update the new banner on your YouTube channel. So the main intent of this tutorial was to show how to find the safe area in YouTube banner design and how to perfectly place all the design elements within this safe area. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.